First at five, new year, new road hazards. Fog, rain, and snow are bringing travel headaches to drivers in Kern County. Thank you for joining us. I'm Will Silverstein. Rochelle and Michael have the night off. Earlier today, Eyewitness News spoke with some travel experts and some local experts about what it's been like driving on the roadways, which keep popping up with one hazard after the next. Well, we're in a uh, series of storms now. It's a stormy start to the new year, and Eyewitness News Chief Meteorologist Miles Musio says moisture is on the way along the grapevine in 58. Three tenths of an inch. So we're going to see a little bit of rain as far as snowfall goes to Hatchby with a little over two inches. Millions of Southern Californians did hit the road for the holiday season. Janella Giglino with AAA says millions of Americans are still headed home. To avoid the holiday travel blues, you'll want to do a quick check to see that your vehicle is ready for a wet road home. So right now, as everyone's coming back home, it's really, really important to make sure that you get your car checked out, checking your tires, checking your battery, and getting those oil changes as soon as possible. It doesn't take that much water to hydroplane. It's a major concern for California Highway Patrol Officer D.C. Williams, who patrols the grapevine, which could see some snow from now through this weekend. What we're advising people to do, especially with the possible snow, is definitely check the weather. Plan ahead and leave early if you can. Another traffic hazard popping up has been the thick Thule fog, which is no stranger to some local experts. I was born and raised here. I was born and raised here. Born and raised in Bakersfield, it gets pretty foggy here sometimes. What do you suggest to people driving, driving around in some of that thick fog? Be careful. Slow down. Any advice for our viewers about driving in the fog? Always be careful, absolutely, and take your time. I kind of could ride these streets with my eyes closed already, you know, that's all. Eyewitness News advises against driving with your eyes closed, but Frankie tells us the thick fog and poor air quality makes it tough to drive with his asthma, which has acted up this holiday season, proving to be another challenge for driving through the fog. I was out here on Christmas Eve and I got, and I was inhaling the bad air, especially by the bonfires and it messed me up real bad, so I'm just recovering. And during our next half hour, we'll take a look at air travel numbers, gas prices, what you can expect to pay as you prepare your trips for this year.